Uh, still, still the statue. False alarm, everybody. Annette is back in the pageant. She just got a little bit of stage fright, that's all. Um, but we talked and we, um, we came to an agreement. Daddy says he'll get me a unicorn. There is a unicorn. His name is Gumdrop. Next up is McKenna Ling. Not to be confused with the six other McKennas we have in the pageant today. Oh, I don't know how you could confuse her with the others, seeing as she's Oriental and all. A lot of people ask me, Parker, why? Why do you continue to keep the dream alive, the pageant dream alive? Well, I tell them, I do it for the children. No, I do not know where I put her daughter's insulin. Does it say pharmacist on my forehead? I only asked because her mother said you took it away from yes, her. Yes, I did, and I would do it again. You stumble up on a five-year-old with a needle trying to shoot up at one of your pageants, and you would do the same thing. Oh, believe you me, you would do the same thing. I'm Royce Adams. I'm a former teen model. I've auditioned unsuccessfully for American Idol four separate times, and now I help Parker run the 307th most popular children's pageant in the country, the Miss Star Eyes pageant. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, y'all. Oh, hey, Annette. Look at you. You're all grown up. <laughs> you look like a boy, but you sound like a girl. Oh, <laughs> I see. You're still touched. Hey, Michael. Hey. You're looking real fine. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone's been working out. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> you still married? Yeah. Uh -huh. Royce and I, it's like we have this um, unwritten understanding. It's, a, um, it's sort of like an alliance on Survivor. It's like that sort of thing that nobody knows about, just us. Right, honey? Royce Adams. Ethan, Ethan Champagne. I bet you are. <laughs> I'm gonna get you backstage, Miss Annette, because it's almost time to see you shine. Oh, exciting. Now, come with Royce to take good care of you. He's gonna be like your little chaperone, okay? Sparkle and shine for Daddy. <laughs> Sometimes Rubina has a temper. Put up with a lot of shit. I let a lot of shit roll because I'm a fing saint like that. I tell you what though, I got maybe five, maybe ten more years of smoking in me, and then I hit retirement, I cash in my 409k, and I am out. I am mother out. Sayonara, mother. That's Japanese. I thought it would be best for Annette if Rabina, uh, left. And my brother Ethan is such a good sport. He offered to keep an eye on my wife while I take care of things at the pageant. Oh, I love my family. I have seen it all here at Miss Star Eyes. <laughs> Alcoholic stage moms, high-priced, deviant homosexual choreographers with all of their own whatnots and what fours. <laughs> yeah, it all goes down here. Heck, I've even been shot at. <laughs> I still can't believe you missed. Okay, true story. I'm up at the mic, and just as I announce the winner, a single shot rings out. The bullet whizzes past my face and takes out my favorite earring. <laughs> he shot her earring. Seriously. You could hit her earring, but you couldn't hit her? That's another $250 I'm never gonna see again. Am I nervous? No, I'm Christian. And now, welcome to the stage, the very beautiful and lovely Miss Annette Champagne. Yeah! Annette's best friend is her daddy, Michael, and her favorite meal is chicken nuggets and Skittles. When Annette grows up, she wants to be a princess and live in a big tower. Don't for Christ's sake you do something! <gasps> so she flashed you. She's fine. Big f***ing deal. This is cause she black, ain't it? Let me ask you a question. 
would we be having this conversation if my child was white? If my child was white, would we mother f***ers? There is a unicorn and his name is Gumdrop and he lives on Gumdrop Mountain and he likes to eat jelly bean pizza for breakfast and he has a magic hula hoop and its favorite number is eight which just also happens to be my favorite number his name is gumdrop the unicorn and then last tuesday he died.